Okay, Apple event already took place, and unfortunately we didn't get to see the new iteration of the Mac Mini, even after some claims that were more than promising. Some reliable sources just made the feeling of uncertainty to intensify. We have to talk about that, and at the end, to answer the question, what will happen to 2022 Mac Mini? Hi friends and welcome to this Tomocking channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, tech rumors and reviews. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. Now quick promo of our today's sponsor and let's go. Today's sponsor is VIP or CD Key. This company has been part of the industry for almost a decade, specialized in providing the best digital codes for the latest software and games including Steam, Origin Keys, Uplay, etc., giving you access to digital downloads automatically. Even better, fully legit. The procedure is quite simple. Obviously, the first step is that you register. Let's sign up first, the email and the password. Once registration is completed, it's time that we begin our search. I will, for example, check out Windows 10. And look, the price of the key by default is almost 20 bucks. It's time that we move forward with our order. But here comes something even better. By default, not only you can find some promising deals, you just need to go to buy now and there's an option to use the discount code. In this case, let's use DMCK and boom, you get extra percentage off. 1488, now beat that. With this, all you have to do is submit your order and complete the payment process. You have multiple options available, although I always prefer PayPal and I find it safe. Afterwards, you'll get your key. In this scenario, activating Windows 10 Pro is as easy as it gets. When asked for the key during the activation process, just pass the key, press activate and that's it. Your copy of Windows is active and legit, which by the way should allow you to upgrade to Windows 11 for free. For more options like Windows 10 Home, 11 Pro, Office 2019, check out the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Remember, always be careful when sharing your personal and financial information. In the meanwhile, good luck and have some fun! It's been just few weeks since we've seen the new Pro-like Mac Mini device, officially designated as Mac Studio, technically the most powerful computer that Apple made with its in-house silicon. Obviously, I'm referring to the variant with the M1 Ultra processor. While this was all fine and dandy, we did want to see the successor of 2020 Mac Mini as well, with new internals and even modified, further minimized form factor. Expectations and predictions were accumulating, starting from previous year, but sadly did not show any kind of accuracy so far, during previous year, nor now. This caused us to ask questions. When we will see the new Mac Mini, and what could be the source of its power? While Mark Gurman from Bloomberg seemed certain that Mac Mini should come this year with higher-end chips like the M1 Pro or M1 Max, it still remained a mystery. If we count the Mac Studio, for example, in that case he was absolutely right. But if we talk about the new product with the Mini name and with smaller footprint, I'm afraid he was wrong. To make things worse, he was not the only one. John Prozer from Front Page Tech has shared renders based on the leaks that he considers reliable, which showcase some pretty impressive design in different colors, similarly to what's expected from the next iteration of the MacBook Air. With few other more sides leaning towards similar conclusion, oops again, none of it become real. Regardless, the Prozer did at some time publish so-called Mac Mini Pro concept which accidentally resembles the Mac Studio. So what's going on? The most recent round of news looks like it's worse. Till now we were getting promises of arrival and fresh new design, yet nowadays everything goes opposite. One of the most respected industry insiders, Ming-Chi Kuo, posted a tweet saying that we should not hope to see the new generation Mac Mini yet. And when I say yet, I mean in 2022. What? Is this account legit? But that's not all. If we are to trust his claims, when we finally get it, 
In 2023, it will still stick to the same design, the old iMac approach I see here, but without a display in the form of Mac Mini. And it's over a decade old unibody. Apple event closing statement of senior vice president of hardware engineering, John Turnus, did not sound well either. Making our transition nearly complete with just one more product to go, Mac Pro. Lucky for us, this message was likely for high-end pros that are hoping to see more firepower. The good thing is, Mac Mini did get the upgrade to Apple Silicon two years ago, and as far as the Intel version goes, this can be discounted at any moment. Getting more powerful Mac Mini with the M2 and maybe M2 Pro chip can always take place as a part of regular update scheme, which can be expected to arrive at any time. Not to mention that the new iteration of the MacBook Air should come this year, and yes, its predecessor does have Cupertino's in-house chip. Then there is always the iMac Pro, with a couple of mentions by analysts Ross Young. Finally, there is an accuracy check, and Kuo Minchi did have his own collection of false positives, or false negatives in this case. So I think there is nothing to worry about yet, and we can still have at least a glimpse of hope that we are not done yet with the Mac in 2022. What concerned me more is the redesign. Could Apple really opt to keep the existing solution for the Mac Mini for at least one more year? could be, it could help maintaining its price point lower for one more year, or maybe this prediction is once again that wrong. What do you think? Will we get the redesign of the Mac Mini this year or not? Please answer in the comment section below. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up and turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching this The Mocking channel. My name is Marco. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.